The Ladies European Tour has moved north from the island of Tenerife, across Spain and into France for the Lacoste Ladies Open de France. We're in the Basque country in the southwest of the country at Saint-Jean-de-Luz, a picturesque seaside resort very close to the Spanish border. In the heart of town, Golf Chantico is an old-fashioned tree-lined French course founded in 1928. Designed by the British architect Harry Colt, it's a par 70, measuring 6,100 yards. The defending champion, Atahara Munoz, is nicely placed after day one. The Spaniard got off to a sticky start before recovering well for a three under par 67. Her compatriot and fellow Soheim Cup star, Carlotta Siganda, finished her round in style, chipping in at 18 for a four under par 66. Florentina Parker was another of the well-known faces going well, showing the kind of form that took her to victory in Italy. Parker also at four under. But it's one of the American-based Spaniards who leads the way. Maria Hernandez put her LPGA Tour struggles behind her with a wonderful round of 65. So Maria Hernandez with a one-shot overnight lead. Ma Adoui got to five under par before a late drop shot. Rookie Isabel Buono, the leading French player, at minus three. I'm Richard Kaufman. Welcome to day two of the Lacoste Ladies Open to France. And alongside me, L.E.T. golfer Charlie Douglas. And Charlie, it's yet another glorious day here. Yeah, we've really been treated to the fantastic conditions this week. Players taking advantage of this wonderful sunshine. One birdie, all the rest pars so far for Florentina Parker. Shot 66 yesterday. Not such a steady day, really, for Charlie Hull. No, Charlie's two over par for her round. Just the one birdie on the card so far. Yeah, had an awkward lie there. Had to hit it low under the tree, but this could work out pretty well for her. Look at this. That's a cracking shot. Using the contours very nicely indeed. Maybe a chance for a second birdie of the day. Three bogeys on the car for Charlie Hull. It's been pretty much plain sailing for Maria Hernandez, although she steps onto the 12th tee, having three putted the last. She, of course, was at eight under par. It's always difficult coming off a three putt. She wants to hit an especially good shot here to try and come back from that. As you can see, slightly uphill, this 12th hole. Elevated tee to an elevated green. And as you can see, it slopes left to right. That'll try and work its way down the slope. Not bad. Yeah, sensible play for Maria, because you definitely can't be missing this green to the right. Yeah, super 65 from her yesterday. Now... Charlie needs something to spark her into life. There you go. That might help. She has putted so well. She's changed her putting style around five weeks ago, and it's been working a treat for her. Another one comes so close for Maria. She's just so in control of her game this week. Which belies her stats on the LPGA Tour this season. She has really struggled to make cuts. As she was saying yesterday after a round, she feels and has felt like her game has been changing. She suffered with a, a kind of similar injury to you, Charlie, hasn't she? Yeah, she's herniated discs, but hers are in her neck. Yours so are know, in your back, aren't Mine you? are in my back, yeah. So I know she's had to go through some swing changes. It's taken about a year and a half to bed in. It is so difficult when you're making these changes. You just have to remain patient and it's paying off this week so far for Maria for Parker to edge closer to the lead. Never had it high enough. Yeah, a terrific win for her in Italy. She had one of the shots of the season, didn't she, in her final round? Yeah, it was quite incredible. Second shot on the par five. Albatross, I think, got her the title. Uh, this is a tricky hole, 14. You can see how much the ball is below the feet of Atahara Munoz here. Yeah, nicely played. Two birdies in the first four holes. She dropped shots at 11 and 13. So back to where she started the day at three under.
Gone a long way down here. She got a big bounce down the left-hand side here. Miriam Andes at 13, 377 yards, but uh, she's got no more than a, an eight iron in here. Stares it down, and why not if you knock it in that close? Yeah, she's dialed in right now, Maria. Oh, brilliant pass saving putt from Charlie Holt. We've seen that so many times this year with Charlie. She holds the putts when she needs to. Well, as you can see, she's aiming a fair bit right here, Maria Hernandez. Judged it perfectly. Back into a three shot lead she goes. Munoz to convert this birdie putt at 14. Just hit it through the break. Wow. We saw him busy at work yesterday, didn't we, in the clubhouse? A really good artist. wonder what he's doing here. He was painting golfers yesterday, but it uh, looks like he's gone for some spectators today. Yeah, I think he'll be busy today, that's for sure. There's quite a few people out there watching, which is always nice. And again, a, a fairly big drive here for Maria Hernandez. Again down the left-hand side. She got a good break, came out from uh, close to the trees. So again, not, not far in, really, at this uh, 14th hole. If there's anything like 13, expect this one to be firing at the flag. Yeah, she's definitely pin-seeking today. There you go. And it continues. Yeah, the greens are pretty soft, so you know, anything in and around the, the hole and it's going to stop dead. Although we saw from her yesterday, she, she does get a lot of spin on the ball as well. She's got to be careful with that, but controlled it nicely. Yeah, a few of the greens around here very undulating, so if you're the wrong side of those slopes with the spin, as you say, I know a few players have actually been spinning right off the greens. Big drive from Charlie Hull. She was 40 yards past her playing partners. Only a six iron to find the front of this par five 15th green. She's hitting the ball a lot longer nowadays, isn't she? She is, yeah. I know she's been working very hard in the gym. So perhaps that's paying off. Definitely an advantage, though. That extra length. Lovely touch from Florentina Parker. Well, lovely birdie on 13, a really good par saving part at 14. Now this one is for Eagle, for Charlie Hull. And well, if she could pop this one in, suddenly she'd be back in contention, wouldn't she? Cut day today as well, top 50 into the last two rounds. Look how quick that was. Yeah, she barely touched it, but I tell you what. Wow. <laughs> Certainly not writing Charlie Hull off out of this tournament yet. Well, she's gone to three under par, but Maria Hernandez moves up to nine under par. What a terrific performance from the young lady from Pamplona in Spain. Florentina Parker, no drop shots yet today. Now, here's Jorgensen. Yeah, Malena had a tough finish to her round yesterday. Four that, under par standing on the 18th tee and made eight, unfortunately, to get back to level par, but going along quite nicely today. Yeah, it must be hard to recover when you, you play so well and you throw in the quadruple bogey right at the end. Yeah, I mean, bogey's on the last hurt, but quadruples, definitely not what you want. Not the perfect place here for Hernandez to have laid up to it. 15. You could hear there how claggy that grass is. Just gets hold of the club head, but she's done very well, although that one may not stop quite so close to the pin as she has been doing on the last few holes. Well, we saw from the putt from Charlie Hull, didn't we? It's very quick once it gets onto the putting surface. Amy Bolden, ever consistent, isn't she? Second in the Rookie of the Year race. And that's her caddy there, Ian Wright, who was caddy for Severiano Ballesteros when he won the Open in 88. 
Yeah, Ian caddied for Seve for three years. Also the first man ever to uh, create course planners on the men's tour, so. He's got, she's got an experienced man on the she bag there. She certainly has. And Parker just uh, right of the green in two here at 15. Good chip, someone said it was indeed. That should be another birdie. That's what can happen here. And she's got a lot of work now to try and save par. <coughs> well, perhaps a lapse in concentration there, Femi. Can she find another? Maria Hernandez, this for a third birdie in a row. Lots of players will be making the most of these opportunities at the 15th hole today. 503 yards, but playing shorter as it's downhill. Oh, unlucky. Don't think she can quite believe that that one stayed out. to hit the hole and does. Great read from Elena there. One of the toughest holes on the course. There won't be many birdies today. Well, nothing a formality, of course, but wonderful opportunity for Florentina Parker to get within three shots of the leader, of course, who she's playing with. New cap on today for Amy there. Yeah, I think Amy's going for the Ricky Fowler look. Yeah. Pulls it off though, I think. <laughs> Great par saving part as well. So one shot overnight lead. Maria Hernandez has now stretched her advantage to three shots. Parker and Saganda. Well, the latter with three birdies in a row after a drop shot at the first. Spilkova going well too. Plenty more to come here from the Lacoste ladies. Open to France. For the third year in a row, the Lacoste ladies open to France coming from Golf Chantico. This is Charlie Holt getting things going nicely now, isn't she? Hard 16. And she's going on a bit of a roll now towards the end of her round. Nathan Munoz. Well, they got it surrounded there, haven't they? Yeah, great shot from the defending champion. Yeah, great to see Jorgensen battling hard. Very difficult for her to stop this one coming out of the rough. It's just going to keep going. Oh, she's putted so well to get herself among the big money winners this season on the LPGA Tour. She hasn't won since she posted that victory here in Saint-Jean-de-Luz a year ago. And she's uh, not letting grip of her title that easy, is she? Up to four under now. Now, whose shadow is that? Quick. Charlie. Very, very good. <laughs> Two points. Yeah, she's very confident right now with the putter. Looks good. Well, that birdie at 13 really has sparked her into life, hasn't it? Birdie there, eager at 15, another birdie at 17. She's getting closer to the top. Well, we've seen this one, right to left. Just like that. Yeah, I read it perfectly there. Really been impressed with Milena today. Yeah, she's had a couple of runner-up finishes this season, hasn't she, Jorgensen? And Catherine Nintner playing in the group with the leader in Andes and Florentina Parker. Unlike them, unfortunately, she's had her struggles a couple over.
Oh. Very difficult to control the ball from this rough at this Shantako Golf Club. But Anka Linda has done very well there. Just about perfect. Well, two over par, not in danger of missing the cut. 78 players in the field and top 50 qualify for Saturday and Sunday. Charlie Hull gripping right down the club here to perhaps get some more ball control. Wow. I think she got the number right there. Yeah, what a finish from Charlie Hull. yesterday from Anke Lindner. Ah. Yeah, gets her back to uh, one over par. <laughs> well, Natha Munoz has already birdied this hole in the same group, Charlie Hull. That's four birdies in her last six holes today. Very impressive finish. Well, there you go. Three birdies and an eagle, sorry. That's all right. Back in 30. Yeah, I don't think she'll mind that one. Yeah, terrific round from Arthur with a birdie, birdie finish. Also very well placed. And talking of uh, teenage talents, here's another in Clara Spilkova. Yeah, recently finished all her studying just three weeks ago. So now she can concentrate on her golf. Yeah, as you can see, she's pretty good at it. Well, she'll have a good yardage from that uh, little mark there on the 18th fairway. Great view of the ball flight there. You can't see the green at all, can you, when you're back there hitting your second shot? But uh, I think the applause might help her here. Look at this could go in. Definitely one of the best shots we've seen here at the 18th today. Spoke of her to try and get to four under. Just bogey the 16th, so this a real chance to bounce back for the Czech player. Really good rhythm to Clara's putting stroke. Going on very nicely. She's got the celeb sorted as well. Oh, nicely done from Florentina Parker. A birdie finish, a bogey-free round of 67. Seven under par. You can see uh, Maria Hernandez yet to finish off. She's got a par putt to come at 18. Now, what a performance from Albain Valenzuela, the 16-year-old Swiss player. From the seventh, she had three birdies in an eagle in five holes. It's rocketed into contention at six under. And uh, with Maria Hernandez dropping a shot at the last, back at eight under, she's only, what, two shots off the lead. Saganda, what a start from her as well to the second round. Yeah, she was unstoppable when she began today. Had that birdie at the, bogey at the first, sorry, and then just went on a rampage. Five birdies in her next six holes. And uh, one of her mentors, Jose Maria Olazabal, at the course today. John van der Lent was here as well. Two players, of course, were at uh, Glen Eagles last week for the Ryder Cup. Albain Valenzuela, who was at the World Amateur Team Championships just a month or so ago, and wow, what a performance this is. She's certainly not playing like an amateur this week. No, she just dropped a shot at 16, but there's a bounce back birdie for her. One shot off the lead, as is Saganda. Outside chance here for Carlotta. Came close. Yeah, she got 
it really going early on. You thought that uh, she might go on and be in the lead come the end, Carlotta Siganda, but she hasn't had a birdie since the seventh. Isabel Buono leading the local challenge. Really enjoying this Chantico golf course. Yeah, spent most of her pro life so far based uh, in America, but a uh, rookie year on the LET. Testa left for Carlotta to save part. Yeah, this will be breaking from Carlotta's left quite rapidly. We've seen already how fast these greens are. No problem. We played a little bit on the uh, Symmetra Tour as Buono, second tier in America. Still only 25 years of age. Here's a chance to get to six under. What a part from Buono. So she goes to six under par. Group of players at seven under, just one shot off the lead. And they include England's Florentina Parker. I was bogey free today, just had three birdies and two of those in the last four holes. So that was quite good for me to just make it, you know, a better round. And uh, now I played very steady, nothing too special, but nothing um, bad. So, yeah, really good. Well, perfectly set up with some proven winners very much in contention. Teenage amateur Albain Valenzuela in amongst some big name players. The 16 year old in that tie for second, one shot behind Maria Anandes. The top 20 separated by just half a dozen shots. It should be a terrific weekend at the Lacoste Ladies Open de France. From myself, Richard Kaufman, and from Charlie Douglas, it's goodbye for now.